The number of cases of coronavirus among the some 4,000 on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt had steadily grown over several days as it lay docked in Guam. The cramped, dense living conditions, a perfect viral incubator. And that led to this impassioned plea from the aircraft carrier's captain on Monday. We are not at war. Sailors do not need to die. If we do not act now, we are failing to properly take care of our most trusted asset, our sailors. On Wednesday, the acting Navy secretary suggested the captain had been overreacting. It's disappointing to have him say that. Um, however, I, at the same time, we, I know that that's not the truth. But then later at the White House coronavirus briefing, there was this comment from the defense secretary. There seems to be this narrative out there that we should just shut down the entire United States military and address the problem that way. That's not feasible. And so we live and work in, in cramped quarters, whether it's a... a an aircraft carrier, a submarine, a tank, a bomber, it's the nature of our, of our business. Those aboard the Roosevelt are now being brought ashore. Groups of sailors will rotate in and out of quarantine on Guam. As many sailors as possible should disembark in the next few days. Those who test negative will be moved into 14-day quarantine in Guam hotels. Those who test positive will be placed in isolation at the U.S. naval base on the island. A core group of about 1,000 will stay on board to be replaced after 14 days by those who've already undergone quarantine. They will maintain the ship's weaponry and nuclear reactor. Some sailors on board the Roosevelt told the San Francisco Chronicle of their admiration for their captain, who they said had looked out for their interests over their mission. I spent 24 years in the Navy, and I, I know you command a carrier, you're almost guaranteed to, uh, to make admiral. But by going outside the chain of command here with a public letter, he put the welfare of his, the men and women who work for him ahead of his own career. The case of the Roosevelt raises the question of the operational readiness of the U.S. Navy amid the pandemic. However, the U.S. isn't the only nation facing that question. Well, yeah, it would weaken our Navy, but what about the Chinese Navy? What about, you know, the, the Russian submarine force? So it's going to impact everybody. And, and I think what the United States should be doing is taking the lead now in working with these other countries and say, look, until we deal with this, we can't continue business as usual. U.S. officials, however, insist that were it necessary, the Roosevelt could be fully manned and deployed immediately. Shia Bertansi, Al Jazeera.